Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. If I look like I am in pain, it's because I am. I have a serious, serious headache right now. I'm having a lot of post-surgery complications and I have my doctor's appointment today, so I'm hoping to talk to her and see what she says. But I'm hoping to talk to my doctor today and see what she says because I have a doctor's appointment and also... I broke this nail. I've never ever wore fake nails to where they actually broke off like this. So, so crazy. Anyways, I'm going to be doing, I have so many people I need to call today. Just like, and get situated. I'm going to be doing an updated Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palette ranking. And as you guys know, I'm going to be doing... The minis also, which I've never really done before, but I'm also going to be ranking them from bottom, which is my least favorites, to my favorite, which I usually do favorites to least favorites. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have every single palette Jeffree Star has ever released, eyeshadow palette-wise at least, um, which is 21, I believe. So what I ranked number 21, unfortunately, has to be the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Mini Controversy palette. This is the um, Emerald Edition one. I don't like Shane Dawson, I'm not gonna lie. I am gonna try and love on this because I bought it. I used it for a look today. I used Diet Root Beer, I used My Boyfriend's Purse, and I used Flat Earth. I just don't feel like there is enough versatility in this eyeshadow palette to really create a full look without having to reach into another one if you want me to be completely honest. And I love the packaging on this. I love the packaging on this. I wish I had kept the unit carton for the other one. Alright, number 20 is the Shane Dawson Mini Controversy regular palette. The regular one looks like this. I did use this the other day I used Cry on My Couch, Diet Root Beer, and I believe I used the simulation right here. I made a very similar look to this one, a blue-toned look. I think I actually used this in a Tease Dramas and Scandals, which I will be posting probably next week. Um, but yeah, again, I just don't feel like there's enough versatility in here for you to create a whole look. You know, I need more browns than this one brown to go in my crease to build up my crease. I have a halo eye going on right now. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I have ColourPop's coconut on my lid, and in the center I have Royalty from the Profusion Sultry palette. My head is killing me. But yeah, so this is number 20. So the next palette is the Androgyny palette. This was the 10th palette he released. 10th palette. This was the second palette he released. Guys, I have a headache and I literally saw 10 jaw-dropping shades, and that's why I said so. But I love the packaging on this. I love the faux leather moment, like the hot pink at the gold detail. I love how skinny this is. My thing is, is, and I love how it bends. Like, if I ever have my own eyeshadow palette from my own brand, I want it to be this kind of packaging where it bends. My big thing is, is, yeah, you could totally create a versatile look with neutrals and colors, but every single review I've ever seen of this palette has said that these shades suck. And the bottom row shades suck. And it just makes me not want to use it. Like, I just, I look at this and I don't feel inspired. I'm not gonna lie, the only reason I purchased this was for my YouTube channel. You guys, I swear I just have, like, the worst headache ever, and I don't feel good at all. <sighs> Next, personally for me, because of packaging, is going to be the Alien palette. You guys know the story behind this. I didn't purchase this because at the time I didn't have a YouTube channel, but I needed it for my collection, so my amazing hubby went and found it for me and purchased it for me as a surprise to complete my collection. I like some of the shades in here, like Alien and Interstellar are unique. UFO, Moon Rock, Space Cowboy, Probe, and Area 51 really speak to me. I've used this a few times. You can see it is used. 
and it bends all the way back, which is another thing that I love. I just think that the packaging itself is very loose because it's like a magnet, and I don't like the eyes because it makes it awkward to store. So, honestly, the shades itself are nice. I think he discontinued that palette because of the Blood Money and the Blood Lust palette because, think about it, the Blood Lust kind of has a similar shape packaging, and there are greens in the Blood Money palette. So, I think that's the reason he probably ended up discontinuing that palette. I'm trying to rub my head where I have my headache. But, yeah, so that is just a no palette for me, just personally, because of the packaging. Next... Sorry, Shane Dawson, if you ever see this, I just don't like you. It's the Conspiracy palette, and this makes my eyes hurt, and I already have a freaking headache. But, I literally got this just for my YouTube channel, because I have a YouTube channel, and I do do Jeffree Star Cosmetics on here. But I also like the packaging on here, and the clasps, and black is my favorite, and I like to have all the trunk palettes. But anyways, I just don't support Shane Dawson. I don't like Shane Dawson, and this color story just doesn't really speak to me. I feel like you could definitely do a lot with it, but I don't know. I just, I don't like Shane Dawson, and that is like the biggest thing for me when it comes to ranking the conspiracy and the controversy pals is that I just don't like him. I just don't like him. And that's my personal preference. I am allowed to feel that way. I'm sorry, but I'm being honest. Next is the Blue Blood Palette. So I love the packaging on this one. I like the unit carton on this one. I like the unit cartons on a lot of Jeffree's palettes. I love to keep the unit cartons on Jeffree's palettes for some of them because they're just really nice. But this is Blue Blood. Blue Blood is ranked pretty low for me just because this is an all blue palette and I just don't feel like you're going to wear blue every single day. Ironically, I am wearing blue today, but I don't feel like this is an everyday palette that everybody, you know, you're going to spend $50 and use it every single day for every single look. You're going to get so much looks out of it, you know. I just don't feel like this is a everyday palette. Next is a palette I wish I had the Unicarton too. I wasn't thinking when I threw it away, but I did because this was the like first one I had received when I started doing like 600 Jeffree Star orders, but it's the Blood Money palette. And this clasp is quite unique. I do like the theme around this. But this is the Blood Money palette. Blood Money for me is ranked a little bit higher than the Blue Blood palette because I do feel like you have some golds and you have some neutrals even if they're more green toned in this area I feel like you have more of a versatility in making this an everyday palette with pops of green so that's why this is ranked higher for me than the Blue Blood. Next is going to be the Bloodlust palette and I actually was not going to buy this when it first came out until my YouTube channel, I started really getting serious with it. So I purchased it just for my YouTube channel. This is the Bloodlust palette. It was the third in the Blood Sugar or Blood Sister palette collection. And there could be more purples. I actually enjoy purples. I love purple eyeshadows. I like purple is my favorite one of my favorite colors next to black. So this kind of does speak to me in a way. But the packaging itself is what defeats it for me personally, is how big it is, if you want me to be completely honest. So next is a palette I didn't think I was going to buy, and that is the Jawbreaker palette. So I was so turned off by the Jawbreaker palette just because of the outlay in it, the layout in it, with it being kind of like everywhere. But really, if you need a rainbow palette, all you really need to do is get like a neutral palette and then get this palette and you can literally have every single color in the rainbow. And Jeffree's um, eyeshadow quality, eyeshadow formula is very, very nice. But yeah, so you can literally have this palette and a neutral palette and literally have every type of look you could ever think of be able to be made just with two palettes. 
Next is one I actually prefer more than the previous one, and that is the Mini Breaker palette. I prefer to use the Mini Breaker one more than the Big Jawbreaker one because of how more compact this is. This just fits in my everyday kit so much easier. And I love the color Foreplay and Oral and Bubblegum. I've used Hot Fudge too and Orange Crush, but I really love the pinks in this oral color right here. Again, his eyeshadow quality is just so nice. Next is very new to everybody's collection, and that is the Weirdo palette. I actually used Weirdo yesterday. Let me take it out. I have it in the unit carton because the unit carton is really cool. So this is the Weirdo palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I used all three of these shades yesterday. Um really nice. I really like Razor Blade. Um, I used Glamour Shot to whiten my lid, and then I used Mohawk in the crease, and then I used a couple other, I dug into a couple other palettes and made a nice kind of neutral-esque look, because I just wanted to test out the colors in here before I made this video. Next is the Pink Religion palette. You guys know I love unit cartons. This one was broken. It breaks my heart, but I'm keeping it anyways. This is supposed to be like a Bible you can't really see. Yeah. It's got the gold pages on the side, by the way. But this is Pink Religion. It has every single pink you could ever need. If you are a pink lover, I definitely suggest this palette. Um, I've never actually seen an all pink palette like this, but when he came out with this, I was kind of thinking like, I would love to see a royal blood palette that is in a coffin, but is also kind of like, um, Urban Decay, it's Naked 3 palette, like a Dusty Rose royal blood palette, like I think that Jeffrey would really be able to maximize on that and really perfect the formula of those dusty rose colors and make them pretty nice um yeah I, and we need another blood sister palette next is the star ranch palette um i'm very surprised i ranked this as high as i did i love the unit carton on here this was the exclusive in the summer mystery box but this is the star ranch palette I really think that you could have the Star Ranch palette and you could literally do a very neutral everyday look with these shades, the brown shades, and then have some pops of blues and greens whenever you want to dig into it. And you could literally just make this your everyday palette. I actually, you, every time I dip into this, I use Yak Farm. I love that shade. That shade is so so pretty in the crease. I literally, like, every time I dip into this palette, I, I literally go straight for Yak Farm. Bye. Next is another new one to my collection. I ranked this very high on my list because of the more neutral aspect of it, and that is the Pricked palette. I hate the packaging on this. If I didn't have my YouTube channel, um, my foot was itchy, I'm sorry. If I didn't have my YouTube channel, I probably would not have picked this up just because of the packaging. The clasp is cute, and I think that the purse idea is really stupid. I've talked about that before. But this is what the prick palette looks like. This is a very fall, thanks, like I see fall, I see Halloween, I see Thanksgiving in this palette. I see neutral in this palette for me personally i see warm toned neutrals so i feel like this would speak to more people than something like else would you know depending on what kind of neutrals you go for at least this next one is the anniversary blood sugar palette i have the anniversary carton i keep the carton it's in the white trunk it's hard to open with false nails because I don't really open this. I don't use this. Um, this is kind of lower because I kind of think he may have actually switched the quality of these um, shades and made a higher price tag for it because he knew people were going to get it because it's the anniversary collection. It's very much meant to be a collector's edition. It's not meant to 
be a palette that you use. And he's actually said that it's not meant to be a palette that you use. I was making sure I put it in the right way. Which, if, in my mind, if you're advertising it like that, then you kind of know something's up because you're advertising it as this is an eyeshadow palette that you're not meant to use. It's meant to be an eye or collector's edition palette that you just put on the side as display. All right, next is my favorite palette that Jeffree Star has ever released, and that is the Mini Blood Sugar palette. It released with the Anniversary Collection. I love this palette. I have done so many looks with this palette. It's very well loved, as you guys can see. The only shade in here that is not in Blood Sugar is Wisdom right here. I don't really actually like the Wisdom shade. I like the other shades more. I really like Glucose and Sugar Cane. Candy Floss is a nice one. I like Coma ouch and pricked um sweetener and cherry soda i haven't used as much as the other shades but i love digging into this for red looks i it's just my favorite palette personally i just get really excited when i dig into this palette next is the mini orgy palette i had to get mine off of beauty wish because he doesn't sell it on his website anymore and i don't know why Maybe because of the controversy when it came out, there was like no pigment on them, stuff like that, whatever. Mine has pigment just fine. So this is what the mini orgy palette looks like. It's all shimmers, which is why it's not higher up, even though it's more neutral. This is very much meant to go with the orgy palette. So this is not a palette you can literally use every day. I've actually used these two shades as highlights on my face. It's, it's a really nice palette for digging into very nice quality neutral shimmers that are extremely beautiful. Next we have the cremated palette. My head is killing me. But we have the cremated palette looks like this. You have the con you have the controversy that came out with it. Again, it has my kind of packaging that I like where it bends all the way back. I love marble. But anyways, this is what it looks like. It's the all black, gray, and white palette. I have a few of these shades in singles. I have Diamond Ashes, Afterlife. I have Angel of Death. And I have Hearse in singles. I really like those. Um, this is very much a... I feel like it can be a neutral palette. You can go from neutral to smoky pretty easily if these are the shades you kind of gravitate towards. This is very much a Halloween palette for sure, and I definitely think that the Weirdo Mini palette was meant to actually go with this palette in my personal opinion. I don't know, but in my opinion, the Cremated and the Weirdo Mini palette were meant to go together. Next is the Orgy palette. I love the packaging on this. I love the like nudie rose gold kind of thing. Or champagne, whatever you want to call it. This is what it looks like. Again, it has that kind of like bends backwards that I love. This is more cool toned. In my opinion. This is more cool toned. And it's all matte. So take that as you want or as you will it's all matte and it's definitely more cool tone i know more people tend to gravitate towards warmer toned neutrals and the fact that this is like a 60 dollar palette for all mattes kind of i don't know i like the palette but i don't think a lot of people can actually justify the price of it being all matte cool tones and you know, because the only, the way you're going to, if you're going to make a, more looks, you kind of really have to purchase the mini orgy. Next, I put the Thirsty palette because this was the first palette I ever purchased from Jeffree Star, but it is unfortunately discontinued. Looks like this. It's very nice. He never made this formula ever again, but if you take like these three shades at the bottom and get rid of them, this is a very neutral palette in my opinion. So I really like this. It's very tropical vibes. I like it a lot. 
I definitely think he was kind of trying to bring back like a the thirsty kind of idea, like the orange packaging and stuff like that with the pick pricked palette because it's coral. Next, ranking number two is the Beauty Killer palette. I know people say that this palette has not aged beautifully, but for me, I think I can't get it out with my fake nails. But for me, I want to put his first palette out in my high rankings because even if it hasn't aged well compared to his other palettes where his eyeshadow formula has improved, this is what started his eyeshadow palette collection. And if he never made Beauty Killer, would he have made Blood Sugar? Would he have made Cremated? You know, that's my question. So this holds a special, special place in my heart. And of course, the top one is the original Blood Sugar. You have to love on this. I think he said that this palette sold out within like, I just lost a nail. But he said that this palette sold out in like an hour or something like that when he first released it. This is what started the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Collection craze. It's a beautiful palette. It's red toned. It's neutral. It's unique. He definitely took it there. He definitely took it there when he released this palette. Okay, I really, 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 really have a bad headache. So I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, please like if you enjoyed. Subscribe, ring the bell, comment. I'm so sorry that this is like a subpar video. I just, I needed to get it um, done. I was waiting for my headache to go away, but it's just getting worse and worse and worse. So... Whew. Uh, we'll update you guys um, in future videos. Be sure to check the description box of the videos I post because I actually was posting and letting you guys know I was in the hospital and updating you guys in the descriptions of my videos. So if I go to the hospital today because I'm having complications from surgery, check tomorrow's video in the description box. You'll know. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.